Chapter 10. The Perfect Storm. Quote, One life is all we have, and we live it as we believe in living it. But to sacrifice what you are and to live without belief, that is a fate more terrible than dying. Unquote. Joan of Arc. People I meet these days have little to no idea the path that brought me to where I am today. When they ask what I do, I say, I'm an author. It took me 26 years to get to this point. Here's what happened. This is the condensed version, I swear. Back in 1990, I sat alone in a library in Amsterdam and wrote stories, with a pen, in a little notebook. I was pretty sure that I wanted to be a writer. I'm pretty sure there was thunder and lightning in my soul. Apparently, the storm bypassed the heart of the city. At highway rest stops after work at my corporate consulting job in 1996, I sat in my car and wrote stories on my laptop. Clouds in the distance. I joined a writer's group in San Francisco when we moved there in 2000. We helped Khaled Hosseini work on drafts of what would later become The Kite Runner. My dream was alive, but more like kindling, the fire not yet quite burning. Cloudy with a chance of occasional showers. For some masochistic reason, I chose not to write myself, but set up a company to help writers with their marketing strategies, starting around 2006. It was being the water boy for the basketball team. Sure, you were part of the industry, but you weren't a player. Forecast? Overcast with little chance of light. On November 1st, 2012, I accepted an experiment to write every single day from a friend who was running monthly experiments workshops. The slave driver, I mean my dear friend John Muldoon, whom you met in the foreword. You'd think this would have kicked my writing career into gear. You'd think. I enjoyed that day job of helping other writers less and less. I shouldn't even have enjoy and day job and I, in the same sentence. I was miserable, desperate. Rumbling in the distance, clouds formed, slowly. In 2003, I was not really diagnosed with something that might eventually turn into something else. Fear, panic, depression. I know, let's imagine the worst possible outcome. I'll probably die next month. I kept writing. I searched for help. I needed to write to keep me sane and quell the fear. I discovered meditation. Shivers of thunder in the distance, faint sparks of lightning. In March of 2004, while sitting on the big red chair in the living room, my son and I read a bad children's book. We can do better than that, I said. I happened to notice that the last book I had published was a travel gu guidebook for San Francisco. The date of that book was April 1st, 2004. It sent a shiver down my spine, and not the good-feeling kind. We published The Secret of Kite Hill less than a month later, on April 1st, 2014. A crackle of thunder in the hills in the distance. The storm was brewing. 2015 brought the passing of my father. This wasn't supposed to happen to me, to my family. He had so much left to give, to love, to experience. I wasn't done with him being in my life. This wasn't how my life was supposed to go. In fact, my life just kept going as it had been going because no one was doing anything to change it. My father's passing opened my eyes to mortality. I delved deeper into my writing and meditation. I hit 1,000 posts in 1,000 days. I wrote two more children's books together with my sons. Boom! I heard it in the distance, the kind of thunder that rattles your insides. It was nearby. In 2016, my wife and I packed up four suitcases and moved to her home country, the Netherlands. I barely had a business to leave. I left my business waving at me from the proverbial ship's deck. It was crying. I was not. I could move on. I kept writing. Another children's book. 
I started writing non-children's fiction. Thunder crashed into my heart. Lightning was so close I could practically feel it. There were no more excuses. Procrastination itself was tired of procrastinating. The planets aligned. Twenty-six years had passed since I sat alone in a library in Amsterdam, scribbling stories, dreaming that one day I might be an actual writer. In 2017, I've written four short works of fiction, started a secret, okay, formerly secret, https colon slash slash g-o-o dot g-l slash l-z-m-k-h-x podcast and wrote, published, and marketed the book you're holding in your hands. There is no way anyone can say I'm not a writer. It's taken me this long to get here and there is no turning back. I'm a turtle, a tank. I'm slow, I'm unstoppable, determined, and fierce. The storm has arrived. I am the storm. That's procrastination at its finest. One of my goals with this book is to cut 26 years down to something a little more manageable for you. Let's get going with that, shall we? Possible, wait out the storm. Impossible, predict the weather. Repossible, be the storm.